Hey everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. Today we've got five Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs. And as you know, we like to switch it up a lot and do different styles, but we wanted to ask you guys, what type of Christmas videos would you like to see? What styles? So let us know in the comments. And then also with our second channel, as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing those hauls and shop with us videos. So of course we're gonna do Dollar Tree, but other than Dollar Tree, what are some of your favorite stores that you'd like to see us go to? To or show haul videos of. Let us know in the comments on that as well. And as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which project's your favorite. Let's jump in and get started. For this project, we're going to be using these dowel rods from Dollar Tree and we're using the 12 inch and the 6 inch. We're going to be creating these very minimalistic Christmas trees. So I started by taking two of the 12 inch dowels and that's going to be the vertical part of our tree and then a six inch dowel for this horizontal bottom part of the tree. And then I'm just using some glue to go ahead and hot glue these together. All you need is just a little bit of a dab on each corner. And for the smaller one, I'm going to use the six inch for the vertical and a six inch for this bottom part. But as you can see, I didn't want it to go all the way out and use the full six inches. So I just kind of eyeballed it and cut it where I thought it looked good and made that base a little bit shorter. And then again, I'm just gonna hot glue those together. Once we have both of those parts of the tree completed and glued together, we can move on to creating the trunk. And the six inch dowel, what I originally was going to do is just mark it here in the middle at three inches and then go ahead and cut that and use it for the bottom. However, I didn't really like how long it was. So as you can see right here, holding it up, I just felt like they were a little bit too long. I didn't like how they looked and I wanted it to be a little bit cleaner, I guess you could say. So what I ended up doing is chopping off an inch on both of those and making them a little bit smaller. I like that personally. You can obviously do it longer if you want though, that comes down to personal taste. And then again, I'm just using a little bit of hot glue to glue that on the bottom of the tree. As always, you guys are more than welcome to use something stronger than hot glue. However, for this project where they are very minimalistic and the wood is light, you're probably gonna be fine if you just wanna use hot glue for this. Once we have all of the tree complete, we can move on to the base. And this is gonna be where we attach the tree so that it will stand upright and you really don't need much to it. I'm just using these tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree and for the big one, I'm gonna end up using four total. So what I did was I glued two of them together and then another two, and then I will take both of those and connect them there in the middle. And then all I'm using just real quick is that hot glue, it works just fine for this. And then put a little bit of glue right there in the center where all four blocks meet. And then that's where we will glue our big tree. You wanna hold it just for a little bit and give it time to dry. That way you don't worry about that falling over. And for the smaller one, the same thing, except for we're just doing it on a smaller scale. So we're just gonna use two of those tumbling tower blocks instead of four, and then gluing it in the center of that as well. Once we have all those pieces glued together, the last part is to add some paint. I'm using this matte black from Krylon and giving it a couple coats. Perfect way to finish this up, a very sleek and modern look to these Christmas trees. This project you will need two 11 by 14 frames from Dollar Tree. All that you will need is the actual frame, so just take everything out. I would keep the glass just for any other future projects. You'll just want to pull these out. They just hold the glass and all the backing in. Just pull them out, try and do it softly. It does pull little parts of the frame out sometimes, but since it's the back, it doesn't matter too much. Then I grabbed this ornament from Dollar Tree. I will be using soap and water to take off all of the glitter 
because I am going to be spray painting it with this matte black Krylon spray paint. For the greenery, I'm using these eucalyptus picks from Walmart. They were only 97 cents, and I really, really love how Walmart has all of their greenery and their flowers. After you've cut them all off, I used two for this frame, and then I'll be using two picks for the other frame. So I will be putting them on the bottom right corner on this frame, and just arrange them kind of how you like. Instead of just cutting to the end where all of this is glued down, I am going to be showing you exactly how I put this on. We have just had comments of people saying that they want this. So if you want to just skip to where this is done, just skip forward probably a couple minutes. When you are doing this, just make sure to kind of make it look organic, like it's growing up the frame. Try and have some going towards the middle, towards the outside, and just try and make sure it is covering up where the other stems are and where you are hot gluing. And then for the other frame, we are going to be doing the same thing, but just for the other side, so the bottom left corner. Now that the star is dry, we are going to attach it with some Dollar Tree ribbon. Since it would hang a little sideways if I looped it through just the open space, I'm going to be folding it over the top, hot gluing it to itself. And then at the very end of the ribbon, we're kind of smashing it together just to make it smaller so that when we hot glue the top of the star to it, the ribbon isn't sticking out of the sides. For this project, we're going to be creating the stocking hangers, and this was a really fun project to do, so hopefully you guys are excited about this one. What we're going to use is these three snowflakes from Dollar Tree, and you want to go ahead and remove all of the tinsel, I believe that's what it's called, from these snowflakes. All we want are the forms that these came on. So as you can see here, it's a little bit of a pain, but you just want to unravel that all the way around, and then you'll have the three frames left over, and that's what we're going to use for this project. Once we have all of that removed, what you want to do is actually remove them from each other. You definitely don't want to do this with all of them connected. And so I'll just cut off these two little tabs where they connect. And then what I'm going to be using is this wire cutter to go around the entire form. And what we want to do is cut off all of these little tabs that the tinsel was wrapped around. Those are just not going to work for what we're doing. We want to keep this very sleek and minimalistic and those will not look good. So go ahead and cut all of those little pieces off with the wire cutter. And then for the middle parts, it was a little bit hard to get to it with the wire cutter. So then what I ended up using was a razor blade. Once you have all those cut off, as you can see, it looks a lot better, just way more clean and it's gonna be perfect for our project. So I'm using that matte black paint from Krylon. Go ahead and put a couple coats on there and then while that's drying, we can move on to these boxes. So this is where we're gonna glue those snowflakes onto, but what we wanna do is go ahead and remove the lid. You don't need that. Go ahead and save that for another project. And I'm using this early American stain from Minwax and you wanna go ahead and stain all the way around it and then the bottom. You don't have to do the inside because we're gonna actually flip this over and the bottom will become the top. So don't worry about the inside. After we have those all stained, we can move on to adding the hooks. And these are from Walmart. They were, I think about $7 and you get six of them. So 
You can definitely use the command hooks from Dollar Tree, however, whenever we can, we always like to try and upscale it a little bit, make it look a little better, and where these equal out to just a little over a dollar each, I definitely think it's worth it. It'll give it a much cleaner, higher end look when you're done. Right here I'm just trying to get as close to center as possible so I measured halfway between the width and the height of the box and it's not going to be perfect because Dollar Tree boxes tend to be a little bit different each time. So just try and get it as close as you can and then I held up the hook here to make a couple marks with my pencil where the screws will go. Now these were a little bit tough to get in just with a handheld screwdriver so sometimes you can just with enough force, hand screw these in. I don't know if it was the screws or what, but it was a little bit more difficult. So if you have a power drill, you can either drill a hole and then put it in, or if you have like a screwdriver attachment, you should be able to just screw them in easily. Um, but it was a little bit difficult if you're just trying to use it with a handheld screwdriver. Um, but all you need to do then after you have those marks is go ahead and screw those in and connect the hook. Now, they will be sticking out on the underside of this. So what I did was add a little bit of hot glue on there. That way we don't have those sharp points. The next part is to add a little bit of weight since these are gonna be holding stockings. I just glued these little glass beads all around the inside. And then I would recommend adding more weight to the back side of it since the weight will be coming from the front you want more weight on the back. Hopefully that makes sense. And then finally, to complete this project, we're gonna take our snowflakes that we painted and we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of this and then hold it upright and allow that to dry. And then after that was in place, I added just a little bit more hot glue to the back side of that to keep it upright. And that will complete it. Another really simple project, but I absolutely love the result of this. This project I will be making it harder than it needs to be. You can definitely just use the frames instead of what I'm going to be doing, but I do think it's worth it and I think it looks super pretty in the end. You will need four of these 5x7 frames from Dollar Tree and all you will need is the actual glass. I did find with this particular frame, this glass was a little bit better than some of the other glasses that I've worked with from Dollar Tree. This is one of the first things that you can see that I made a lot harder. I would probably not do what I'm showing here. Instead, just hold the two pieces of glass up like I'm doing here and then just run the hot glue in the corner. Don't put the hot glue and then put the glass piece on top. That was a lot harder than it had to be and it was a lot messier and a lot of cleanup. So just put the glass piece on the edge and then run the hot glue along both of the corner pieces and then just hold it there until it's dry. But go all the way around and make a whole box out of all four of the glass pieces. This is the second thing that I'm making harder. Instead of just using the actual picture frame, I wanted it a lot thinner to give it a more modern look. So I'm going to be using these skewers from Dollar Tree. Just measure your actual glass. Sometimes Dollar Tree glass, they come in just different sizes. Not everything is the same. So just measure yours and just cut it to size. You'll need eight of each size. Thank you. 
This is exhibit B of what I'm making a lot harder. Don't do this. I don't know why I did this. This is just way harder than it has to be. I just like making problems for myself. I'm hot gluing the corners and then spray painting the frame. Just spray paint all of the pieces together and then hot glue them to the glass instead. Now that they are all spray painted, this was just way harder to put on than the individual pieces. So like I said before, just don't do it this way. Just do the individual pieces. So I do like the doubled edges, so I am adding another long piece to the sides. That's why we're doing eight instead of just the one long piece on the side. So add another long piece and then a short piece and just do that all the way around. For the bottom, instead of the fake snow, I will be using the mop head from Dollar Tree. And I found this really, really cute big tree from Dollar Tree and then these smaller ones. And then I will be using these cute little reindeer from Walmart. They came in this big pack that we got, I think for about $4. Now we are going to measure a piece of foam board and that's what we're going to hot glue the mop head onto for the bottom. And then once you have a little template, just grab a knife and go ahead and cut it. We have really, really loved using these mop heads lately. You can definitely use the fake snow from Dollar Tree. I do think that you'd have to use quite a bit to fill up the same amount that this mop head uses though. So just cut it to size and then we will go ahead and just hot glue it onto the foam board. And then for the pieces that it didn't cover, just use the same mop head and then just cut little pieces and cover those areas. I probably would have pushed it from the top to the bottom instead of from the bottom just slightly to the top and then hot glued it. Maybe you wouldn't have had so many of the fur at the bottom that you would need to cut after, but just get it to the very bottom and then hot glue it just so that it'll stay. And then cut any little pieces that are left. When that is done, it's time for the fun part when you finally get to decorate. So then add all of your trees. And then your little reindeer. I didn't have to glue them in. If you just kind of wiggle them in, they should stay without any glue. For this project, it's going to be a very, very simple one, but I think the results are absolutely stunning and very high-end modern looking. So what I'm using here is this glass vase from Dollar Tree, this matte black spray paint from Krylon, and we're gonna give that a couple coats. Now, I was originally thinking of using this craft box, but I just didn't like how it turned out. It didn't match the vase. So I'm using another 
smaller vase from Dollar Tree and go ahead and spray paint that as well. After we have those painted, I'm just using a paper towel to shove in the bottom of this. That way we don't have to use so many pine cones. And then I'm using these larger pine cones from Dollar Tree. Go ahead and pull out a few of those and then place them around there to fill it up. I love using any kind of stuffing that you can. If you can save money by not using as much on a project, definitely do that. As you can see, we used way less than if we were to shove a bunch of pine cones in that vase. And then I actually decided to add a little bit more to this project. So I took this little candle holder from Dollar Tree and painted that black to go with these two vases as well. And then this little candle, you can get a pack of, I think four or six for just a couple dollars from Walmart. And then that's gonna go inside there to go with our other two vases. To finish this vase, we're gonna be using a pick from Walmart. But first I'm using this bag just to go in the bottom. That's gonna make it easier to place our pick exactly how we want it. So this is from Walmart, it's only 98 cents. You can use Dollar Tree, but in my opinion, I love Walmart's picks, they look way better. Um, so you can't go wrong with those. And that's really all there is to this project. Very, very modern and super clean looking design here. Uh, so I was very happy with the results. That's gonna wrap up our video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're loving the Christmas DIYs, again, let us know what style you'd like to see in the comments. And then also here's a playlist that we'll leave a link that you can jump through and watch all of our other Christmas DIYs. As always though, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.